你有了你有了你有了你有了你有了你有了你有了你有了你有了你有了你有了你有了你有了你有了你有了你有了你有了你有了你有了你有了你有了你有了你有了你有了你有了你有了你有了你有了你有了你有了你有了你有了你有了你
对，没错。然后，但是 I think 你也可以说我想。Yeah， 我想。我想你很漂亮。呃，对 ，I think you're beautiful。谢谢。我想你很帅。哦、oh.。Stop it <笑>。Yeah. All right. 所以我想，呃、uh, ，你 I want 跟 I think。哦。Sorry, I want 跟 I think， 呃，你都可以说我想。但是 if you want to make it more specifically， 你可以说我想要 for I want， 好吗？嗯。Oh, so you don't get confused between the I think and I want. 嗯。Okay. 好。好，再来是 I need。我需要。我需要。嗯。What do you want? What do you need? 我需要一个袋子。You need a bag. 我需要一个汤匙。A spoon. You need a spoon.、嗯、我需要一本 Manual Monkey 的 e-book. Yes, you do. <笑>对呀、啊，所以我需要是一一个 desire， 一个呃，对。对 you need. I mean, <笑>他们知道。<笑>当然，他们知道需要是什么。OK, OK， 好，再来是。哦、oh, <咳>，这个很困惑，这个呃，大家都会觉得还蛮困惑，就是呃 ，I am 都会觉得还蛮困惑，就是呃 ，I am, you are, he is, she is， 对，但是在中文其实有两种说法哦，一个是我很 ，sorry, take I am for example， 是我很，嗯、mm. ，another way is 我是 ，Yeah， 但是要怎么去用呢 ？How to use them？ 呃、uh, ，我很。漂亮，对。For example, as earlier. For for describing what, 我很 something like 我很我很胖，我很胖 ，I'm fat. 我很笨，我很笨，我很聪明，我很聪明，我很聪明。呃 ，intelligent， 聪明。Yeah, 我很 smart. 嗯，还有什么？我很累。Tired. 对，我们每天都很累。我很难过。Uh, 对啊，对 ，I'm sad, upset. Um, okay, so you can say 我很 but then also 我呃、uh, 我是 so what's the difference? 我是对，我是呃、uh, for names,、mm. for 呃、uh, 我是汤明伟，对 ，OK， 明伟，然后我是 Yula。为什么你说中文，我说英文？<笑>不知道啊，我不想。I mean, we, we, we mix up, but that's the whole point. It's English, right? 我们说，对对对，好。所以我是 is for names to、mm-hmm. introduce okay, so names, names. Yep. 嗯，然后是。呃、uh, ，for、uh, where you from? You inter in international interna internet inter oh in, in, giant <laughs> like your nationality? Na- nationality? Why could why do、right? I keep saying inter inter inter, 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 inter international nationality? Yeah, nationality. So I'm is Taiwanese. I'm is Indian. Yeah, so country. Somebody said that to me today, really weird. They just out of the blue, Jason. 他跟我说 ，Sorry, I totally interrupted you there.、啊、But I was cook. I can't. I was making my lunch. You cooking? I was cooking. Cooking. I put my <laughs> food in the microwave,、mm. and the random student came up to me. 老师，老师。Yeah, I had my headphones in as well, so I was listening to an、uh. audio book or something. And、uh, he said,、um, "You speak English? English, ma?" Ah.、Uh. Uh, yes, I am. Yeah. That was it. Stay silent. <laughs> 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 But, and he asked me in Chinese, obviously.、Oh, no, no, no. I answered in Chinese,、mm-hmm. and he stared at me for some time. Anyway,、um, okay. You are. You are. Yes, you are. Okay. You are. 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 You 很没错。Okay. 好。Um. So we've got, 我是 we've got 你是 we've got 他是 and 他是。对，你要喝水吗？哈哈哈哈哈。Stop cutting my throat. Sorry. 对。Yeah. So 我你他他是 and 是 and 很。对。然后 he and she 在中文是一样的字哦，啊不，一样的 pronunciation。他，但是是不一样的。不一样的字，对不对？对对对对。所以有时候如果呃，如果有人跟你说，哦，她很漂亮。Yeah, so if if you say, oh, sorry, he's very pretty. It's not a good example. Uh, like he's very tall. He's tall. He's very 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 tall. We've done it. Oh, it is. It is. Okay, right. Yes, 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 right. Y
。哦嗨，萨比亚，你好，<笑>好害羞。<笑>对对对。I'm a bit shy, the one. 嗯，哦，对，就是在中文呢，呃，在英文，比如说你可以说，呃、uh, ，Do you want to have a cup of coffee? Yes, I do. 但是我们中文没有 Yes, I do. <笑> yeah, yeah. Or Are you a student? Yes, I am. 但是我们没有一个 yes， 所以所以你你你会说哦， oh, 你可以说我会，呃、嗯，那、oh, no, 我是，我是，对 ，OK， yeah， it really depends on how you ask the question， like 你是，你你是学生吗？ You, you need to use 是 to answer the question， 对， OK， 呃，你想要喝茶吗？ Yeah. So, do you want do do you want to drink coffee? 嗯，但是然后 and the response response will be 我想我我不想。Yeah. 对。但是你可以用要，对不对 ？In that sense, I want. 如果如果他说他说你想要 blah blah blah， 嗯，你可以说我要。嗯，但是那 want 就是想要。Yeah, but you can omit the 想 in that instance. 当然可以。就是我要。嗯嗯。Okay, that's pretty cool. 好。Uh, where were we? Ah,、uh, so correct. You have three words. Ah, right, 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 and right. But、mm. it really depends on how you use, most them, common, use them in 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 um.、Uh, the most commonly used correct that I hear on a day-to-day basis is "do." Personally, I mean, you Personally, say you、okay. you say "may do" a lot,、okay. but um. Ah,、uh, 对我说没错 a lot. 对对，我说没错。<laughs> 没错，我说没错。嗯<笑>、um, ，Yeah， so I hear Dwayne quite a lot personally at school, maybe because it's teachers. I don't know. 但是其实，其实你如果在在台湾或者在中国，你说对 ，for any questions, they understand what you mean. 嗯，对。<笑>对啊，为什么要 ？Okay, because you said 你说对。嗯、um,。好、okay. ，Not okay， 不好。不好 ，OK， so、uh, you'll probably know that already.、啊、A lot of people already、Not、know that.、Okay, 不好 ，Not okay， and okay。好，我好 ，can 可以。<sighs> Do we talk about 可以会和能 in this in this book? Do we? No, we, in the next one. Oh, in the next book. Okay, yeah. So in the next <laughs> next ebook, we actually go into a lot more detail on the on、oh. on 可以会和能 and how you use those and then grammatical rules associated with using them. 对。因为在英文你有一个 can 字，但是在中文我们有三个。对，三个，就是很难。<笑> well, it's not really difficult when you get a hold of it, um, but um, it's more difficult than English. 呃，对。In that instance. 嗯嗯嗯，对啊，所以因为有时候如果你三个字，你去 if you if you you if if you want just have a guess, 嗯、mm. ， sometimes you get wrong, so it's not like I can use three of them all. 但是我想他们会懂你。他们听得懂 ，like if they say、It's, 你 ，it would be really confusing now. Really? Hmm. Like, can I go to? Can I drive the car? That is asking for permission, right? Can I、yeah. drive the car? 我可以。Yeah. Can I drive your car? But then, it, it, I suppose if you say, "Can you drive the car?" Like, physically, are you able to drive it? Oh, well, that depends on context again. Then. So, like the skill,、yeah. like, do you have the skill to drive、mm. a car? Is that why? 对，会，没错。Yeah,、嗯、okay. So you know, 可以可以 is for permission. 会 is for a skill. 没错。And 能 is just、um, ability. Uh, you you are uh capable to do are, something. Yeah, are you physically able? So I cannot、oh. walk. 嗯，来、like, ，我不能走。Yeah, I literally my legs are broken. I cannot walk. 对，嗯，我不能走路。Um, or I cannot see or something. So、嗯、an ability that you have that you cannot do is 能 right or 不能。对对对对。Okay. 嗯，所以好，可以。To page number two, <laughs> three. Well, technically, there's a title page. The first page is <laughs> need to know.、Uh, the second page is、uh, need to know again. I'm from America. 对，呃、uh, ，我来自我来自 a country. You put a country after that, of course. 呃、uh, ，所以 What's the difference then between 我来自美国 and 我从美国来？一样。But what's the? I mean, what's the most common? I mean, yeah. What's the most common? Yeah. 我从哪里来？我从哪里来？我你可以说我是。我从国家来。对对对对对。我你可以说我是嗯嗯国家人。Oh, yeah, I am a country person. 对对对。Whatever. I think. Yeah, 美国人。我是台湾人。Is the first thing, the first sentence, the most common way to say. 我是。对，我是。I am, yeah. 对，我是台湾人。And then the second comment is, 我从哪里来？我从台湾。Where are you from? 对 ，and 
the third common way to say is 我来自哪里 嗯, 对啊 Where am I from? Um, no, 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 I think um, she was answering or he, he, Esther uh, Esther was answering the question uh, 我是泰国人 uh, Oh, Thailand Good morning to you mm. and um, it's evening for us so it's about, it's, uh, 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 it's half past nine here 好, uh, should we review all the countries? Like just quickly Ooh. Ooh. Are you gonna have it? Uh, give me a test? Yeah, okay, <laughs> okay. okay how are we? Um, so <laughs> uh, What have we got here? Magoro93 uh, Welcome Magoro um, Welcome Sonwit as well You said uh, you're what, she's from Thai? Thailand? Yes, that's what I'm sorry if I pronounce it wrong uh, 泰国人, he's from 泰国人? Thailand. How are? Mm. And you're learning Chinese, which is great. Mm. Uh, Magoro93, um, we're glad you find this very helpful. Um, if you want to follow along, if you've got our ebook already, have a look because we're just basically talking through our uh, all the need to know phrases mm. and various other things. You should have a look. Um, sorry, sorry. Country test. What's what on Oh, country test. Here we go. Okay, so let's start easy. America. 美国. Uh, Thailand. 泰国. Um, India. Indu. Um, England. Ingo. Australia. Australia. Hmm. Is there that koala? That country. Okay. Um, Australia. <laughs> yeah, it's not Austria, which is like different. Um, New Zealand. New Zealand. Um, Canada. Canada. <clears throat> Taiwan. Taiwan. <laughs> that was an easy one. Uh, China. Uh, 中国. Uh, do I have to name all the countries in the world? Because I don't know all of the Just countries in the world. Just quickly. Um, Western, Western country. Japan. No, oh, I'm still, I'm still, in Asia. I'm still in Asia. Okay. Mongolia. Mongol. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's getting, getting more difficult. Um, Saudi Arabia. Oh, no. Uh, it's Arab Warren. You carry on. Sorry. So, uh, what's the English? Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, the baby is here. Okay, so, uh, how do you do? Uh, Italian. Italian. Yeah, Italian. Sorry, Italian. Italian. Uh, France. Uh, Germany. Uh, Germany. Uh, France. Uh, Germany. Uh, Germany. Uh, Germany. Uh, Germany. Uh, Germany. Uh, Germany. Uh, Spain, Spain, okay, so this is the country, the Mandarin for countries, okay, how? So, I'm from the United States, uh, uh, three ways that you can introduce where you're from, okay, I'm from the United States, I have to take myself for example, I'm uh, from Taiwan, and uh, I come from Taiwan. Uh, I am Taiwanese. Uh, 我从台湾来, I'm from Taiwan. 是的。好,再来, 第二个是, I cannot read Chinese. 我不会读中文. Okay, so, uh, cannot, 就是你用不会, that is the skill. 不会 is for skill, so we say cannot. You don't have the skill to read Chinese. So in here, the cannot, you need to say not. Okay, read is to read Chinese Chinese. Very simple. I don't read Chinese. You you can't. 就是这个这个是在说你不会读中文字嘛，汉字。对，不会读中文。所以中文其实真的很难呢、欸。中文。Oh, I cannot read Chinese. Okay. 其实中文真的真的真的非常的难看懂. It's really not easy to uh, understand Chinese characters. Yeah, yeah the writing, yeah. 对, 因为它看起来其实像是 paintings for you, mm. 对不对? And actually, it's from painting. It's not, it's, it's from um, the word, the uh, Chinese word, some of them are, were uh, pictures or patterns or they made the words by their meanings. Yeah. 对, 所以有时候如果, uh, 或是一个字的意思, 或是它的, 
呃，那个原本的样貌的话，其实你没办法。You can't. You can't yeah, there's no you way. Can't, you can't really、uh, connect all the characters, and sometimes you have to combine some of them. And there's also, there's also, isn't there also、um, some? Obviously, there's traditional characters, and there's also simplified characters. Oh, so, 对对对 it, it can really vary. Although the simplified characters are quite、uh, similar. It's similar to the traditional.、Um, so you, I mean, you can read simplified, for example, even though you're trained in reading、uh, traditional. But not hundred percent, because some of them still look differently. Yeah, yeah. So yeah,、um, but but there's also like old written Chinese as well, isn't there? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Old written Chinese. Yeah. So like. I mean, like the style they they write the words. Yeah, the style. The st-、oh. I, I, and I mean, words we, and just general words. 对对对对对 ，because we have different style in every different、uh, dynasty. Hmm. Uh, in in Asian. You have a different style for different dynasties. What in back back, back, back in, <laughs> in 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 history? 对对对对。In every in any in different generation, they create different style of Chinese characters. So that, that sometimes you can't really read what that character is. Even I don't I don't read. Are some of those characters still around、right. now? If you if you read a Chinese poem, yeah. Okay, so again, it's like it's like Shakespeare. It's sort of like very old stuff. Because I mean, he he's like old English. But actually, there are also many. You know, you read Chinese poems. They now, they now in the book, they actually use modern Chinese characters. So actually, they 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 use modern Chinese characters. That's more study, right? Than can, because read, because can would be like what can you like? I I read books,、嗯、but then also what do you is like I study. I study, but in here, if you say I won't read Chinese, that still works. Okay. Okay. So you can say that. I won't read Chinese. I won't read Chinese. Okay. Okay. How do you speak English? Do you speak English?、Uh, yeah, I do. Yeah. You do. <laughs> yeah, I do. Okay. Um, you speak English, ma? I speak English, ma. Okay. So what about other languages? I speak a little bit. So what about French? French. Okay. So you speak French, ma? Um. So how would you? I mean, when when I a very very common、um, sentence I've used in in Chinese when I was when I'm learning, oh, a year or so ago,、mm. a few years ago actually, I should say a year or so, a few years ago, when I would ask someone if they spoke Chinese. Would you say ni shuo ying wen ma? Would you say ni hui shuo ying wen ma? Those two sentences are they both、work? exactly the same?、Mm. Yeah, but, but I mean the only, the only difference I would make in this is that because you're using hui in this instance,、mm. uh, you're asking them if they are able to speak English. You can. As in, if, if you say,、mm. you if 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 But if you say ni hui, it's like, can, do you have the skill to speak? Yes, yes. Like, do you have the ability, right? Mm, mm. But so if you just say ni shuo ying wen ma,、mm. that also works. But is that rude? Ni shuo ying wen ma. Is that like、no. assuming? Is that like no, assu- no, 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 no. Should you not use? Because I, al- I've always used ni hui、mm. because it's kind of like, are you able to? And、mm. if they say ah,、oh, bu hui bu hui,、mm. then I'd say, okay, well, wo hui yong, zhong wen. You can say ni shuo zhong wen ma, can. You can also、mm. admit, can I or hui. Mm. I just wouldn't use "kai" because it's kind of like assuming they speak English,、mm. and they should. <laughs> I don't know. Do you know what I mean? You can say Chinese, please. Yeah, I don't want.、Well, please. But actually, a lot of the time, if you're if you're Wei Guoran and, and you're in Taiwan, for example, and someone you know maybe speaks English to you, and you're、mm. trying to learn Chinese,、mm. you should maybe say "ni kai" or "ni kai" or "zhong wen" because then、okay. hopefully they can use Chinese instead of English, and then you could learn more, right?、Mm. Okay, so. So, uh, when Uh, anyone ask you, can you speak some kind of language? There are <coughs> few ways that you can respond. Of mm-hmm, course, mm-hmm. like、uh, a little bit, 一点点,一点点 Like if you're a beginner, you can say, oh, 一点点 So what's after 一点点 So let's say I speak no Chinese. How would I say that? 我不会不会我不会 So <laughs> you're saying I don't speak it at all. No, in Chinese. Ah,、oh, 
No, you, you, no, I was you asked not. me yeah, to was, translate the English. I asked you a stupid question. <laughs> um, so if you cannot speak Chinese at all, you would use English or, or, your, or your native language and mm. say, I, I don't know, or whatever, you know, I don't, uh. I don't speak it. Okay, so if you were to say, I speak a little bit, so what's that? So if if you were so if you say e that isn't that more that's more modest, isn't it? That's sort of modest. Modest, yeah. So so if you if you speak if you do speak a bit, like you can say hello, you I need a bag, I, I you know, I want to brush my teeth, I, I want to go to the toilet. Um, you speak, you know, four or five sentences, you speak a little bit, right? But what about if you speak you're kind of intermediate, but so do you say? Would you still say, "Oh, easy at the end," just to be modest, just to sort of be humble and sort of say, "You know, I'm not that good." Oh, um, you know, easy at the end. Hmm. Yeah. I suggest to say I can speak some, okay. like <laughs> share. Yeah. Yeah. If you if you can have a basic conversation, mm. you know, to go shopping with Chinese or to chat. Uh, easy topic with people, you can say, mm. Mm. Oh, we've got a question. Um, can you suggest to me how to remember many vocabs in Chinese? Oh my god. <laughs> so there's, there's loads. What does that mean? Can you suggest me? Yeah, so. Remember many vocabs. Yeah, so. Um, uh, Sornwit would the like radical. to be able to remember lots of vocabulary. The radical, important or not, it is really important. Of course, yeah. Well, it depends what you're using it for because if you're writing, of course, it's really important. Yeah, or reading. Or reading. I think if you understand, if you if you know uh, uh, more radical, it will help you a lot in reading, mm. of course, because you know some radical you use in in a group of characters and they mean they have they are all irrelevant. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you know what kind of word it is and you can guess and you know um, if you have more experience in. Uh, reading Chinese characters, you can get on with more characters at the same time because they, they have the same radical. Also, if you, obviously, if you, if you memorize the radicals, mm. it helps you with sound as well, doesn't it? Radical? Yeah. With the sound, why? Well, why do you say that? Because, I mean, for example, you'd use, mm. um, when you're typing on a phone, yeah. you'd use radicals to make up various characters, right? No. Mm. Isn't it burp muffle? Yeah. We use burp muffle to correct words, not radical yeah, yeah, yeah. though. Oh, okay, maybe oh, I'm... But you're right, but we t we, we create a Chinese word by uh, typing burp muffle. Mm. But when you choose the right character, you have to uh, recon you have to have the ability to recognize the radical. Yeah. Yeah, so you're right, yes. Mm. Okay. How? Um, so go, let's let's talk a little bit about remembering vocab. So there's a bunch of ways you can remember vocab in any language, actually. Um, but there's only a few ways that are going to work for you. Um, so, for example, Eula w is traditionally trained in in learning English through through her school years. And what what? Oh, my English. Yeah, okay, yeah. How? So what what Eula would do uh, to memorize words is essentially just repetition, space repetition. So you'd go to class, you'd open a book and you, you would read a word and say a word and then write a word hundreds of times. Mm. Okay, and then that way you kind of dr drum it into your head to remember, mm. you know, these words. Yes. It's, it's for me personally, it's really, really boring. Mm. Um, I don't like that way, but hey ho. <laughs> um, th there is, there is uh, various other ways with uh, like memory techniques you can use to, to remember vocab. For example, you're right. Say, uh, I'm following oh, okay, you. Okay, <laughs> yeah. For, for example, um, um, what I do is I use funny, um, a funny story or a funny image in my in my mind to rem to remember a word. So um, I don't know. For example, Xia yu. Xia yu. Okay, yeah. So for example, um, Xia yu means rain. Mm. Okay, but if you separate those two words, Xia and Yu, it, it literally means. D oh, for, for me, right? So, U is fish for me. Okay, although it, it is a different, it's a different tone in this in, in mm. this instance. Um, U is is fish, and Xia is down. So for me, down fish is rain. And I, in my head, I'm thinking there are fish falling from the sky. Okay, oh. down fish, and oh. then I always remember oh, it's rain. Okay, so oh. I associate a funny image yeah. with the words. Uh, tor bai, for example. Tor bai. Tor bai, right? mm. um, I think, which is uh, frustrating. 
which is frustrating. Um, I always think in my head, Thor sounds like Thor, the god, or you know, the thunder god. <laughs> uh, and I, I imagine in my head, he throws his hammer and he... Say goodbye. He buggers off into the, into the sky, right? Uh. So, Thor, bye. I remember, oh, right? And that's, and that's... That's frustrating. Yeah, then I've got a permanently in my head with, with uh, frustrating. Oh. Um, and a sound, funny sound, like... Jim Bong. Jim Bong, yeah, that's another <laughs> one, right? So also yeah. associating funny sounds with it. If you can't think of an image in your head, perhaps a funny sound like, mm. yeah, Hun Jim Bong. Um, it, Jim Bong is just a nice, <laughs> funny sound that rolls off your tongue. Mm. Um, Hun uh, Ganga. Hung Ganga. Uh, hung Ganga. Embarrassed. Yeah, embarrassing. Like awkward, right? Mm, um, hung Ganga. Now, for, I remember that word, for example, because there is a Pokemon called Gengar. Uh, right. Gengar. 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 Which sounds kind of like it to me. So in my head, I've got a picture of the Gengar, which is like a ghost, a purple ghost character thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hung, oh, that's Hung Gengar. Gengar. Oh, Hung Gengar. Gengar. Kind of, you know, oh, kind of sounds like it. So yeah. for me, I remember that funny image. So you have to be really creative when you're yeah. trying to learn vocab, right? Yeah, and that, it, that's, that works uh, for you. That's, that uh, is your way. Yeah, and, and also I've used things like uh, like space repetition software like Anki, A-N-K-I, mm. yeah. which essentially you, you, you download or upload your characters you want to remember, mm. and then you, you play it and it will basically play to you um, your characters back to back, um. and it will then space them out each day yeah. or, you know, so, you know, it comes back up just, just before you're about to forget things. Um. Um, also, another way I will say, sorry, I did not, this has gone forever, um, is w when I first started learning Chinese, I used to use stickers, actually post it notes oh, yeah, around I did my that. house. I did that as well. Yeah, post it notes around my house, and what I used to do is write down the pinyin for mm -hmm. any of any, any Chinese vocab that I'd like to know, like, you know, like a fridge or a, co a cup or a cupboard or. A, Bed. A bed, where, and I'd literally stick post-it notes on yeah. everything in my house, right? My house looked ridiculous, <laughs> really, really stupid, because there was uh, yellow post-it notes everywhere, yeah. stuck on everything. But every time I came to the cupboard or to the to the bingshang, to mm. the fridge, for example, I'd make sure I repeat the word, say bingshang, okay, and then open the thing, mm. right? So I now know, and I'm remembering the the vocab, doing it that way. Especially you have to can't you have to use them every day. So yeah. every day you, you you see the word. Every time you see the word, you read the word. So that is like a repetition, a really good repetition mm. to, to remember vocab. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, also, obviously, when you're looking at when you you find new vocab that you want to remember, if if none of the other things I've suggested work, uh, perhaps try um, using it in a sentence immediately, and mm. then using it throughout the day. Mm. In several, if you can, and um, if you have someone to speak to in your in your language in your uh, language you're learning, mm. uh, use the new thing. You know, for example, let's go back to Hanganga. Mm. Um, oh. I'm trying to remember that, and maybe I'd say to you, ah, oh, you know, uh, Hanganga or something. Like that. I'm just mm. trying to use, just try and use it, mm. wrong or rightly, yeah. try and you put it randomly. Into a sentence. Yeah, mm. randomly use it in the sentence. <laughs> Um, that way, it will it will kind of stick in your head yeah. somehow. Um, the yeah. last thing, I'll, the last way I'll say. Um, <laughs> Do you need water? No, 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 no. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, look, someone, sorry, sorry, sorry. Someone's written something. How? Um, a very important a aspect space. is to teach how to formulate phrases. Mm. I know a lot of words, but it's a complete mess to understand a phrase due to how the f how to form how to formulate them. Mm. Uh, yeah. So y you know a lot of vocab, but then putting it in a sentence and making mm. it make sense is a bit confusing. Yeah. Um, so th there's a, there's a bunch of ways I've done. Uh, I I've tried to help myself in doing that, and I know exactly what you mean. Hmm. Uh, yes, I did try Rosetta Stone, by the way. Um, didn't really work for me. It's it's f it's full immersion. Rosetta Stone. Have you ever tried Rosetta Stone? No. What is that? Sorry. It's it's it's, it's a software mm -hmm. basically, and what it does is that it, you open it up and it you you basically see no English at all. Oh, right, so yeah. it's got pictures, it's got tests, it's got like little, you have to click the picture and it will say like, I don't know, Hongsa, Hongsa, oh. and you have to, and there's an orange, red, blue and green ball and you have to choose one and it says wrong, oh. and you, okay, so the, and you try, and it, it makes you associate images with sounds and stuff like that. Um, the problem oh. is, um, wow, no, no. Yeah, but the, the, the problem is with Rosetta, I found with Rosetta Stone, is that it's, 
it's it's a full immersion, so you, you don't see any English, which is really, really good, but um, it doesn't give you any background grammatically to sentences. Mm. So for, you can't stop it and say, but why... Why why, you why do you say pattern? red ball for this way, but then you you use this yeah you use this pattern for this thing? Oh. It, it just kind of teaches you like a child, you know, like you're you're a toddler growing up into a language, and you just hear these new things. Um, so you only get input, right? You yeah. Just, you just remember this. That's the way it is. And yeah. That's... It gets you to say it. I mean, mm. you know, the software <clears throat> it asks you to repeat things and stuff like that, and it's very very clever. It's quite expensive for what it is. Um, I personally prefer to, you know, get a language exchange partner, and I did get a language exchange partner mm -hmm. and t t talk with them more naturally. So you, you, your progression is is through natural speaking, mm -hmm. as opposed to kind of like forced yeah. red ball, green ball. Because mm -hmm. I mean, you could go t to China and know how to say red ball and green ball, yeah, but that's not going to help you because you, <laughs> unless you like balls. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh, sorry. I don't know. Wait a um, uh, But yeah, yeah, sorry. So getting getting your we've totally gone off the ebook totally. Um, 没关系啊, so this is helping them. formulating um, formulating sentences. How would you say what's a good way of using grammar? Uh, using your new vocab in sentences if you don't know how to put it into a sentence. How would you how would you find out? Well, um, I would say ask us. According to my experience, when mm. I when I study English at, in school, um, I will always write down the English sentence I need to learn, uh, the grammar I need to learn, and then write down the Zhongwen word, even if it's not a correct grammatical sentence in Zhongwen, and I just remember the order of that. Mm. So the, I think the other way around, if you are learning a Chinese sentence, you write it down, and then you write. Uh, like a literary translation sentence. Mm. So like, uh, 我今天吃吃汉堡. 我今天吃汉堡. Today, I mean, today I'm eating a burger, right? Yeah. So, 我, I, you write down I, 今天, today, today yeah. 吃, eat, 汉堡, hamburger. So in English, it doesn't make sense at all to you, maybe. But I today, I today eat, eat hamburger. That would be a strange way to say it in English. Yes, yeah. but then if you if you try to make as many examples as you can, so you you, you, you can under you can uh, remember the, the the order eventually. So so you would say you would, for example, in that instance, you you know you'd say wo jin tian shi han bao. So mm. you, you would you would change like the subject, for example, from wo mm. to ni. Yeah, ni. And then jin tian the, the time to. Yeah. 昨天,明天 OK, yeah So I will language and write it down on the paper and then I will translate that my target language sentence into my my uh, mother tongue language So that's my way to uh, to learn English in uh, in my previous experience Yeah, how? I hope I answer your question, okay? <laughs> how? So um, we just mentioned about how you respond a, a question uh, Do you speak English or do you speak any other language? Uh, 一点点 for a little bit or in China they say 一点 uh, 一些 some If you can have a basic conversation You can have an easy topic with people And you know how to shop uh, in the stores or anywhere in the restaurant 你可以说我说一些中文 um, or you think you're very confident with with your Chinese or your language, you can say, yes, 我可以, 嗯, 我会, 我会说中文, 我可以说中文, 我会说英文, 我可以说英文, 好, uh, my Chinese improving, 好, 我说一点点中文, I say I would speak a little bit Mandarin, but I am improving, okay, 我的中文在进步, um, 这个其实, this this sentence is uh, this sentence is very useful because uh, longer you learn Chinese Mandarin mm. and more you will get uh, I mean more you will pro uh, <laughs> more you will improve mm. in your target language. So you can show oh, what the Chinese is improving. So so if you want to improve, 这是, 这是一次是, 
呃、uh, improving。Is improving. 但是如果你说进步了、mm -hmm. ，I've improved. Yeah, 没错。Um, okay, so is that the only two ways that you'd use 进步 in that instance? So 我的中文在进步。Mm -hmm. My Chinese is improving.、Mm -hmm. 我的中文进步了。So if someone knew that you were speaking Chinese, you could speak Chinese before,、mm -hmm. and now it's improved.、Mm -hmm. 进步了。对，进步了，没错。Okay.、Mm -hmm. 对啊。好。Okay. 再来。呃、uh, ，我不懂，我不懂 ，I don't understand， 我不懂。哦，所以我不明白。明白，对，明白也是 understand。Okay, so what's more common? Because I, I was told that 明明白明白 is used more commonly in China. 哦、oh, ，真的，嗯。Oh, I don't know， 我不知道，你你告诉我了。呃、uh, ，我不知道。不知道。Well, I only I have only been to Hong Kong before, so. Yeah, yeah. And um, I I really want to go to China one not not once, just for a. Experience their culture and how they use Chinese because, obviously, the way they speak English,、uh, the way they speak Mandarin is different from us. Eighty, eighty percent of them. Um.、Mm. Yeah. The 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 Qiang, their their Qiang, yeah, their their Qiang and, 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 and、uh, their accents. Yeah,、right? and the phrases they use, their their words, their their words. Okay, like Xiao Jie, yeah, Ma Ling Shu, and yeah. 锋利，对，就是其实还蛮有，还蛮多的单字，他们跟我们台湾用的是不一样的。嗯，然后其实你只要是外国人 ，if you're foreigners，、嗯、you will learn Chinese from mainland. Mainland, yeah. Yeah, a lot of most of my foreign a, students. A lot of the textbooks, actually, even when I was learning here,、mm -hmm. for example, I I learned at a, a school here called TLI,、mm -hmm. the Taiwan Taiwan Language Institute, but they still spoke, they still used、uh, mainland Chinese,、mm -hmm. mainland Chinese Chinese textbooks.、Mm -hmm. So you'd get a lot of the er, dinner. 对啊，所以嗯， um, 还蛮多我的外国学生都会说，哦 ，teacher， 所以你在中国你要怎么说？ But I'm a bit. I I don't really can understand.、Uh, can answer this question because I have to Google it. I have to do the research as well. But if if you <coughs> speak to and you do often every day, you speak to to Zhongguo and do they? No. Student wise. I don't. Sometimes, yeah, just a little bit because I teach them English and yeah, yeah,、um, yeah. I can't really speak Chinese to them because that. Because you're teaching、uh, English, yeah, yeah. yeah. But you you will completely understand them. And they will completely yes, understand yes. you. Yeah, of course. Yeah.、Um, it's the same. It's the same principle with American English and、mm. British English、um, and Australian yeah, English, right? Yeah, we we yeah. all will understand each other,、mm. it, 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 and depending on context,、mm. like you know, so a lot a lot of the Amer Americans will use other words for you know pants or trousers yeah, or sidewalk、yeah. or whatever it is,、yeah. even though they will use a slightly different vocab. I will totally understand them. Yeah. So if yeah. you if you spoke to a Chinese mainland、mm. person, you totally understand them. Even though they may use slightly different words for things, yeah. But it is well, it is is ninety percent the the same words. Uh, ninety percent. But they have yeah, Cantonese、definitely. though. Yeah, definitely. Guangdong is different. Different. Okay. That's totally so different. It, it, so don't count. Don't count. Don't count that. that. No, no, no. There's yeah, a Pudong.、Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. 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 So you know, some words you can say in this country, but some words you can't. Some words you can't say in China. Yeah. So so Xiao、anyway. Xiao Jie is that perfect example. Yeah. yeah.、Uh, we had that in our WhatsApp group recently as well.、Um, mm. Saying Xiao、um, Jie, and、mm. oh,、uh, and、um, they were talking about how they could and could not say. Now you cannot、mm. you cannot address a woman, a young woman in. In Zhongguo,、mm. using Xiao Jie because that would mean like prostitute or hooker,、mm. you know. But in dance, you can use it in Taiwan.、Mm. Um, you can use it in in Taiwan. It's fine. It just means you know miss. Miss. It just means miss, and it's completely、mm. harmless. And a lot of people call a lot of people Xiao Jie. Yeah, yeah. Um, I went to a restaurant in Taiwan,、uh. and I wanted to buy some kind of food that has pork in it. Pork in it, yeah. But I have.、Mm, But I've not seen. Yeah, that's chicken. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. In the menu,、uh, how many words, words mean pork in Chinese? Huh? How many words? What does it mean? How many?、Uh, are there any different words other than zhu rou? Zhu rou. That mean pork. Buy some kind of food that have pork in meal. I don't. I don't think. But have not seen. I don't think so. I think that、oh. you can call pork pork, right? 
But what other things? There are different foods made from pork that would be called different okay, things, right? Okay, so the first one, the food, sorry, the first one, like chao fan, fried rice, mm. they, the normal chao fan, they, the, the meal they use in normal chao fan is pork, mm -hmm. like chopped, uh, chopped pork. Mm. So, but on the menu they say chao fan, stir fries, so they don't say pork rice, pork stir fries, no. They okay. say chao, uh, rou si chao fan. Rou si is, um, Rou is meal, uh, meat, mm. and si is that, the shape, you mean, uh, you know, it's long, like and, a long, thin, like long and thin shape, yeah. like si, so rou si in chao fan is pork, that's the meat, mm -hmm. they use pork. 还有那个我们说卤肉饭也是, they cook, uh, they cook pork, yeah, it's the same, they, they, they cook chopped pork, uh, and then mm. cooked with, uh, Soy sauce, or or with a special homemade sauce, mm. and that we call it lu rou fan, which is very famous dish in Taiwan. Lu rou fan. So yes, you're right. Sometimes uh, you have pork in your meal, but it doesn't say pork on the menu. Just I have I, I have given uh, given you two example like chao uh rou si chao fan and mm. lu rou fan. They both have pork in there, but there's no. Zhu rou on menu. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because that's, that's kind of nondescript, right? It just mm. means just give me pork. Mm. Uh, you, you wouldn't have that in English either, to be fair. I don't think. No, like, um, let's just sum up. Neil pie, but. Neil pie. Yeah, they'll have neil pie on, on a red on the thing, but they wouldn't just say beef. No, it's a steak. No, it would be it would be some. Yeah, it would be. Beef. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> sorry, sorry, where are we? Um, so in the menu, you cannot find the ingredients. Sometimes. No, because... Um, sometimes you can. Some Yeah, sometimes, of course. But now, the technology and the generation is improving and people are creating new menu and to make it unique. So they just made a totally irrelevant name for the meal. Sometimes you can have that. So you just have to ask, oh, sorry, uh, what's this? Yeah, what's in this? What's in this, yeah. But a lot of the times, I mean, we, for example, you'll go to, I don't know, teppanyaki or something, mm. and they'll have something on the menu, and it'll say mm. it, it's egg, mm. you know, pork, and uh, noodles, or whatever it may be. Mm. Um, yeah. So you can, yeah, you will get the ingredients as well yeah. sometimes, but sometimes it'll just... Just it, it'll ask be before you order, just, in, uh, yeah. just make sure that uh, they have something that you can't eat or you don't mm. want to eat. Right, we're nearly mm. at the end of Need to Know, but we're literally on page two. <laughs> we're on page two of the um, of the <laughs> free book, <laughs> and it's already forty-seven minutes in. Um, <laughs> so, uh, I don't. Okay, so I oh, don't. I don't understand. So, I don't understand. Um, say it again. Say it again. So that's quite a, that's quite a <laughs> useful one if you're going to speak. Uh, Chinese in, in 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 China or in Taiwan, for example, <laughs> they, people are gonna say something and they will say something very quiet, or they're gonna speak they will say something very quiet, right? They'll speak very quickly, so you might need to say "zai zi." Like, can you say it again? "Zai zi." I I sometimes also use a lot "zai zi zai zi" in my daily life because sometimes you get the like insurance. Sell guy, and mm. then they're trying to sell you insurance and tell you a lot of like uh, professional terms and stuff about insurance. And I have no idea what you're talking, talking about, about yeah. so you can. I would just ask them, oh, it's 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 yeah. Yeah. or in you know, in the in the hospital, the doctor tell you the, the disease that you have, or <laughs> you know, <laughs> not you have, but uh. Some kind of medical terms, and mm. you just have to, really yeah, you just have to ask them to say again or to explain more. Yeah, yeah. So, say it's say it's there's a very useful uh, phrase you're gonna use. Okay. 对,再说一次, or you can say "慢一点吗?慢一点." Oh, so it's can you slow a bit. Yeah, "慢一点." Yeah, you So this is like a, a permission. So you can say "慢一点吗?" Can you say "慢一点吗?" Or you don't. You don't really say. You can say quicker. No, no, no. Can you speak, can you speak quicker, please? <laughs> yeah. No. Unless you really, you're really bored with someone's talking. Because you can say quicker. So 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 you can say quicker.
Um, okay. Can you help me? Page three. Mm. So can you help me? Can you help me? So that we thought that might be useful for you in daily in daily life because. 当然当然 Um, you are in different country. Yeah. You need you directions. Know, yeah. You need someone, police. You need yeah. someone to help you. So you can help me. Okay, help me. Will people help you? If they are nice, nice and confident, because yeah. not many people here are confident with foreigners and especially foreign languages. Yeah, I mean, if, if for example that you are in trouble and and it can obviously happen, and you say "nikai bangwoma," be ready to follow that up with "what do you want" in Chinese.、Mm. Um, a lot of people here in Taiwan, for example, a lot of people don't speak English, and rightly so. It, they, it's not, you know. Although it's taught in schools,、mm-hmm. a lot of people don't speak, which is fine. A lot of people in England don't speak Chinese,、mm. um, and also they are scared of speaking of course,、yeah, because no one、yeah. wanna make mistakes or no one want to be awkward. Yeah, but if, if it's simple, you can't bang one man, and and they sort of you know say you can't you can't you can't like you know me or something. You can say Jing Chao or something, or even in English, police, police or、mm. doctor, and you know. Nine times out of ten, people will understand. Yeah,、right? yeah. We'll just, you know, use your body language. Yeah. Oh, that's universal. To, yeah, that's to, universal, universal. To describe your problem,、mm. you know.、Um, I wanted to say something、mm. while you're talking.、Um, okay, I forgot. Okay. Um, okay, thank so, you. Thank you. Oh, come on, that's an easy one.、Mm. Oh, sorry, I remember. I remember.、Yeah. So, if you want, if you need help, and you really want. Language to help, help me, you. I can speak Chinese.、Mm, yeah, yeah, so they don't they don't go away. We just say, "Oh, I'm not speaking English." Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, just get give them let them be ready for helping you with their language. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah.、Mm, um. So thank you. Yeah. So thank you. Very important. Thank you. Uh. Uh. Thank you. And then sorry. 不好意思，对不起，抱歉。Okay, so there's three levels, right? 不好意思 So and then 拍谁 But that's um. Taiwanese. That's Taiwanese. 对。Um, so you can say sorry. Yeah. So I now correct me if I'm wrong. Um. Good. So you tell me if I'm wrong. So I, I would use um, sorry if, for example, I got I wanted to get out of it. Sorry, guys. I got a little reminder on the. Um, if I was getting out of an elevator. Yeah. And someone was in my way. Oh. And I wanted them to move a little bit. Sorry. Sorry. Or for example, if I came out of an elevator and I stepped on someone's foot. By, 对不起 By accident. 对不起 Or if I dropped my bag of apples、mm. in front of someone and it was inconvenient to them.、Mm. 对不起 Would you use 对不起 instead、mm. of 不好意思 Boutin, I would use if I punched <laughs> an old lady in the face by accident. 对不起 Would you say 对不起 I say 抱歉抱歉 Like I'm really sorry. Oh. I'm really sorry about that. 真的很抱歉 If I if I was like stretching and I slap someone. 对不起，不好意思。I say you take 不好意思吗？对啊，哎，我觉得这三个 I think you can use them. I think I to me there was there was the, like you well you you're the 老师 but um. But I I can't I can't say I can't say in any that kind of situation.、Mm. You couldn't use any of them. Yeah, you can, really. Yeah, I would say that. 抱歉，抱歉，结果。借过 means excuse me.、Mm. Can can you move your way? 借过 No, wrong place to.、Okay. It's rude. Don't be rude. Yeah. Uh, 抱歉借过对不起借过不好意思借过 Uh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, Yula would use them all in any situation. Yeah, but they all make sense in my brain. I I would use as I say if it's a minor offense, like if、mm. if it's mi- very very minor, I would say 不好意思 Like if it's、mm. inconvenient to、oh. someone or if I want them to get out of my way、mm. in a nice way. You know, sort of like oh, boy, or something like that. I'd use boy. Double T. It'd be like I'm, more, I'm actually sorry for、yeah. something. Like、yeah. I stepped on someone's foot, or、mm. uh, some, you know, something a bit more. Oh, sorry.、Mm. Yeah.、Um, and then Bao Chen would be like, I've offended my family's honor. What's up? What's up, man? You know what I mean? Yeah. How? Okay. Um, I don't know. All right, so I'll give you some examples. I will use 不好意思 If I go to the sh-、uh, supermarket, 我去超市 and then I want to ask if they have eggs, 我会说不好意思，你们有有蛋吗？嗯、mm. mm. 
And now in this situation, I won't say dobuchi because I didn't do anything wrong to her or to to them. Yeah. So I just need to ask. Is it just chingkuang? Ma. To ask them for help. Yeah. This is chingkuang. Chingkuang situation. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, in your in in this chingkuang, you can in this chingkuang, yeah, you can use um. You mean the supermarket 请问? one? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I just try to give him another option um, because so you could say buy is ni ni my ni yo my dan ma. Um can you say ting one? Because ting is like please can I ask you? Yeah, ting one that ting one yo dan ma. Excuse me, ting one. Oh that that. Wop is ting one yo dama. Wop is yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, kiss me. Yeah, okay. Then, oh, okay. Then, oh, okay. Then, oh, on the phone, on the phone, and then someone call you, and then you might be busy, you have to call them back later. You mm. can, oh, 不好意思, I'm busy. Yeah, so that, again, uh, yeah, I'll use 不好意思 for that. Mm, uh, but not or, uh, or you want to ask for some information, you can say, oh, 不好意思, uh, can I know what service you do? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Moving on. Okay. Let's do this. Let's make this. Two, make this the last one. Let's do the last one before we go. Uh, we're at, we're at near, uh, an hour now. Okay. So if you so we're now on love. Uh, the next chap the next chapter of <laughs> the in love. of the book. Um, <laughs> oh, um, if you travel to a Chinese speaking country mm. and accidentally or intentionally fall in love, mm. good for you. Yeah. But also remember these phrases. Okay, here we go. Love phrases. Ah, oh, this is I love a more you. common one. I need. Or I need. Um, I need. So I need is a cuter way to say I need. Yeah, so I think that's probably one of the first things everyone's going to learn is I love right. you, right? Da, da, da. Uh, okay, I miss you. Xiangni. Oh, I miss you. I Why does it say need twice? Oh, because you have a boy and a girl. Okay, so yeah. Okay. Okay, so the characters are different. So in this instance, so you the would say, radical is different. Uh, the radical is different. Yeah. Um, yeah. We have a question. So very quickly. ebook? <coughs> yeah, yeah. So, um, Sonwe, if you go to our, <coughs> uh, hold on. <coughs> uh, I want you. Tell me. Oh, I want you. Oh, oh. Just is why are there two Why are there two ni? Ni, um, because they are <laughs> too ni. <laughs> a ni for male and a ni for female. So the first ni, the first character ni is for male. Uh, in written, okay, you write that uh, radical. That radical on the right it means person, ren. And the second character is on the right hand side. That mm. is for female. And uh, when you see the Chinese character, right, and you can uh, see the two words, two Chinese words, and the words on the left hand side, that is the radical for woman, which is nu. Nu means girl in Chinese, yeah. and that is also a radical in Chinese character. So one is for female, uh, one is for male, one the other one is for female. female. Okay, right. cool, okay. How? You are beautiful. for women or for girls, you have describing words, right? Like yeah, yeah. 漂亮, beautiful or pretty. Mm -hmm. uh, 美丽, it, it, for young girls. Maybe 美丽 for like mom or like um uh, the person that you respect to. You respect to everybody. You mean like pretty woman? Yeah. Sort of. Mm, yeah. Typical one. Okay. Um, mm. Hen ka eye. So that's very cute yeah. though, it's different. <laughs> so if you want to flirt with someone, you go up to someone and say ni hen piao liang. Um that's quite jin <coughs> bong. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's quite in okay. So I don't know you. I'm a Waigore. I don't know you. You're in the park. You're just sitting there with your dog, stroking your dog and looking around. I come up to you and say. A. I don't say A. That would be rude. Um, if I say Nihon Piala, randomly, how do you feel? Is that intense? From a, um, from a random? To me, yes. I think for most Taiwanese women. But they will be happy though. They will be like, inside they will be happy, but outside they will, they will show like, 
why are why you, you telling, telling me this? Me this? Yeah. <laughs> are you a stranger or? But if you're a foreigner and you look handsome, you look. You, you maybe have, maybe they'd like it. Yeah, maybe they think, oh, this foreigner likes me. Ooh. And then it will be falling in love. Okay, so what if you are a, a man or a woman and you like a man? I like what a man. Would, what would you say? Oh, 你好帥. 你好帥, mm. So the example we use in the ebook is 你很帥. So mm. 你很帥, 你好帥. What's the difference? 很好? So 你很帥, 你好帥. What's the difference? Is there any difference? Is how better, like more handsome than hen? Okay, so hen and how in this instance would be the same. Um, cool. In Jun, very, not very, um, <laughs> I'm stuck. 20, 30 percent, you would say that? In Jun. Oh, in Jun. Maybe old okay. people, like old people would say, oh, in Jun, you have in Jun. But I mean, if you're going to learn one of those, shy. I would say shy. shy. Yeah, just say, just learn shy. You know, oh, shy. Got it. Mm. Okay. Okay. So now, another important question that you might want to ask a lady or a man is do you want to have dinner with me? Oh, mm. Sorry. You were going to go say lunch, weren't you? Yeah. Oh. Um, well, you're going to say that as well. So if you want to have lunch mm. with someone as well. So, ni So, you, do, you, do you want and me? So, this yao here it just means want to. 你想要吗? Okay, so want here is 你想要吗? Also, you can say 你想要跟我去吃晚餐吗? That also makes sense. Okay, so 你要跟我, so with me. In English, you say with me at the end of the sentence, but um, 在中文我们说你跟我, so you put it in the front. Oh, sorry, in, uh, in the beginning of the sentence, I mean. Okay, so 你要跟我, you want with me together? 一起, so 一起 means together, okay. So 你要跟我一起吃晚餐吗? Do you want to have dinner with me? And this, if, if this sentence, if this Chinese sentence doesn't work to you, uh, use my way to learn, in, uh, use my, um, my old way <laughs> to, I used to learn English. You write down, I, 你要跟我一起去吃晚餐吗? And then you write down the English, 你, you, 要, want, 跟我, with me, 一起, together. 吃, eat, 晚餐, dinner, 吗? That's for question, yes, no, yes and no question, okay? So the literally translation would be, you want with me together eat dinner? <laughs> okay, so that sentence, it doesn't make sense at all, but that is the way, uh, that is the way you learn uh, how to form this kind of sentence. Okay, so uh, 你要跟我一起吃晚餐吗? 你要跟我一起吃早餐吗? 早餐,breakfast 你要跟我一起吃午餐吗? Lunch Okay? 但是现在有一个brunch,对不对? 就是breakfast and lunch 就是brunch 那我们也有中文呢,我们说早午餐 Okay, so if you're late at if you wake up late every day or on weekends and you want to go out for brunch, you can say 早午餐. So that's 早, morning, 午, uh, noon, or lunch, 餐, meal. 早午餐. How? Can I buy you a drink? <laughs> can I buy you a drink? In English, you buy. 买,但是我们中国不说买,我买你一杯吗? 嗯,我们不说这个, this, it doesn't make sense in Chinese. 我们说我能请,请客。这个请呢, it's not, it doesn't mean please, 请。这个请, uh, the, the, the total phrase for this word is 请客. So you buy someone dinner. Okay, or you buy someone a uh, lunch, or you buy someone a drink. 请。我能请你喝一杯吗? Drink one cup? 喝一杯, 这个是非常非常common phrase. 
to uh, invite you to go out and have a drink. 你要喝一杯吗? 我你今天晚上要喝一杯吗? You tonight want to drink? 喝一杯. Okay. So 喝一杯, uh, if you if you uh, if you drink, if you have a habit to drink every day or on weekends with your with your friends, you have to learn 喝一杯. That means to go out for a drink. How? But the literal translation will be drink a cup. <laughs> okay. How? Huh? 你穿得很好看, your clothes look great. Okay, so it is um, translation. Sometimes you translate meaning, you don't translate word by word. Okay, so uh, your, your clothes look great. 你的衣服看起来很棒. That's a literary translation. If, I, if you translate word by word, uh, your clothes, 你的衣服 look, 看起来, great, 很好, or 很棒. But uh, the, the better way to say is 你穿得很好看 So 你, you, 穿的, just mean dress 穿得很好看 Good looking So you dress good looking That is the better way you say your clothes look great Okay So I will say this sentence is uh, we, uh, You translate by meaning, not word by word 好不好意思 um, our, our our daughter has um very recently uh, that she used to sleep in our room with us mm. in a in a sort of a, in, a, in her own bed here, um, but we very recently, i.e. yesterday, mm. um, put her in her own room. Oh, do um, So that she you know, tried to learn independence. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, so obviously she keeps waking up because it's, mm. it's new to her. So uh, uh. yeah, ap apologies, but. Family first. Okay, uh, surfing is my thing. Ravi, yes. It's cool. Um, you like cartoons? Oh, is that you? Or your, you, your children like cartoons, right? I'll just talk about, just talk a lot of about, um... Hi. I'm in a Disney movie. What? You're, Are you? You're in a Disney movie. What do you mean? Do you mean you act? You're the actor? Was that? Was that? Okay. So, so where were we? Oh, I just, I just, what's, what's the opinion you think um, about me saying you translate by meaning instead of word by word? You, you mean when, you, when someone speaks a language and mm. it goes in your head? Yeah. I, but I don't mean this is the good way for beginners because, of course, you are learning new grammar, new uh, sentence patterns mm. and new vocabulary. So... Uh, don't don't worry don't worry about translation by um, meanings. But if you're intermediate, if you know a lot of word the vocabulary and then you are kind of familiar with sentence patterns, uh, try to translate uh, English into Chinese by meanings. By meaning, yeah, that's difficult. I think it's a really difficult it is subject. Very difficult. Um, mm, it is. Uh, I think you need. Uh, word, especially when you start off, it's word by word. Mm. It's literally you will, you will, you know, Chinese will go into your ear. You'll translate into, into English or your yeah. native language, yeah. and then it will come. Try you know, reorganize and right. then come back out. Right. Um, by the meaning, it's a little bit more different. I think I think you have to hear some sentences, sometimes hundreds of times, mm. before right. it, it translates to, you know, to meaning, right. as opposed to word by word. Mm, I think that's a logic problem, isn't it? Mm. You know, the way you speak, you say the same sentence in English is totally different. You say in Chinese, the logic you use is different. Totally different, yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So sometimes if you if you have to learn the sentence and it is translated by meaning, just try to understand and try to break mm. your native, your mother tongue's. Sentence Logic. pattern. Yeah, it's you so have to you difficult. have to break it. It's so so yeah. difficult to break. Um, English and Chinese logic mm -hmm. are very very different. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a very very difficult thing to break. Mm -hmm. um, I, I don't agree. know how. Obviously, we have some um, some guys here from uh, Thailand. 
various other places, right? Mm -hmm. um, and obviously the the logic in their mother tongue is going to be different mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. Um, it's a very difficult thing to break, but the only way you can do it is by repeating, 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 and trying yes. to think, trying to think in your target language as well. Mm -hmm. um, you know, just speaking and speaking all the time. Um, so um, where were we? Should we cut it there and? Um, oh, let's finish the last sentence, shall we? Oh yes, yeah, sorry. Page? Okay, wasn't it? Yeah. okay. So habits, you might want to ask for their habits so you know what they like to do and then you might can join them. So, 健身 workout. That's kind of the gym, right? 健身房。健身,对。你有健身吗? Mm, mm -hmm. Do you work out? And 健身房,房 is room. room yeah. So, a uh, workout room you go to is the gym. Yeah. So, what, what activity? Because if you say like... Do, do, would you say do you do you do in activities? Or mm. like, what activities do you like? Hua dong, don't they? 对，你喜欢做什么？你可以。So what do you like to do? 对，你喜欢做什么？对，然后你可以说哦，我喜欢健身。I okay. oh, like to work out. Yeah. Uh, 我喜欢打电动 <coughs> play video games. Yeah,玩游戏。对，玩游戏。我喜欢玩游戏。我喜欢唱歌 to sing. 看书，看我喜欢看书，嗯，我喜欢逛街，跑步、游泳、运动， yeah. whatever. Mm. There's so many stuff, right? 嗯，对啊，嗯，好。可是我们没有说，我们在这里没有讲。Um, Next time, okay? Yeah. Next time, 我们会给你们more uh Chinese uh more things that you can say for your uh habit. 对呀, okay. um, yeah, okay, so hobbies, we'll go back onto that. Okay, so today, oh, hobby, hobby, hobbies, hobby. yeah. So what what we what we've covered today. Is actually four pages of the of the free ebook mm -hmm. that you can get. Um, but we we have given them a uh, useful information. Yeah, right? so we're building lots of information mm -hmm. around each of these phrases. Yeah. Um, we're on page four, and I think how many pages are there? Thirty. 32. Uh, okay, so we're only four pages in, and we've already mm -hmm. done seventy minutes. So this is probably going to be quite a long. Long one. A long one. Yeah. Um, but as long as this is helpful to you. Yeah, we hope. I it, uh, yeah, we think yes. Fine. We hope we hope it's <laughs> helpful. Um, sorry if you've oh, just joined the chat, uh, chat and then we're gonna uh, go. <laughs> but it's uh. You can look back. Yeah, it's should the end now. The video. Yeah. Uh, Ralph breaks the internet. We'll have yeah, a look for you. Mm, um, uh, you're a voice, I guess, if it's a Disney movie. Um, mm. Yeah. Okay. So, so, so we hope you if you found it reasonably helpful. Um, we're gonna put this uh, the or we're gonna. Burnt, take the audio off this video mm, and we're going to put it onto our podcast onto iTunes and tune in and all the other places you, you, so you can listen to it on SoundCloud and, and whilst you're going to work or something as well okay. um, we'll come back uh, maybe tomorrow maybe in a couple of days and we'll do the next sort of four or five pages of the book and you can okay. follow us and you know uh, the link to the ebook is in the comments it's also in the chat so if, if you haven't downloaded the book go and download the book and you mm. can join us next time uh, sorry last thing we go uh, Sawn Wit. Yeah, Sawn Wit. Uh, 他说, can you let me know how different between Yo Yo and Bian Bian? I will let you know next time. It's in my book now. It's in, it's in the Eula book. Um, the Eula book. Sawn Wit, thank you very much for joining us for the yes, first time as well. Thank you very much. Um, Ravi, it's always good to hear from you. Um, uh, Safiya. Magoro, oh, sorry, thank Magoro. you very much. Um, for joining in mm. um, and for asking questions as well, mobster, yes. uh, mobster, cool name. Um, thank you very mobster. much for for coming in mm. and and adding to the conversation. Yes. We really appreciate it. Um, uh, Esther, Jim, thank you very much for coming mm. in as well. Safia, you're part of our crew anyway. You're part of the the, the group and the crew. So thank you very much for coming in. Mm.谢谢大家。呃，祝你们有个美好的一天. Um, Hope you have a good day. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks very much, guys. Um, have a great day and good night if it's night and good day if it's day and good morning if it's morning. Have a great time. Bye bye, See you guys.